backwoods Texan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, dude. Yeah, so, anybody have trading questions? Yeah, does anybody have some <laughs> questions about MIC? Nope. No. This guy Van's like, hell no, dude. Just keep riffing. Just keep talking. Oh dude. Bro, Roku, man. I mean, talk me out of why I shouldn't swing long on Roku. I I can't I mean Roku, let me what what's I, Roku? let me see, let me see. So Roku just just Whoa. PR yesterday that that uh, their that their uh, subscriptions are up like a metric fuck ton and shocker and so <clears throat> now to top it off Netflix is also trending higher right so Netflix is like so what I think people are anticipating is this okay Disney puts out that Disney Plus numbers are at like 50 million subscribers or something like that and the stock rips and then roku does the same thing and they say subscriptions are up and the stock rips and now everybody's buying netflix up thinking that the same thing is coming but i think when that news hits it's going to be a sell the news type of situation on netflix got it like we all know that netflix subscriptions are probably fucking up so are Pornhub subscriptions. I was just going to say, so is Pornhub. Pornhub stock not at all-time highs. <laughs> and so... <laughs> well, at, at least my Pornhub subscription is up. <laughs> I just upgraded to the lifetime membership. Oh, my God. Oh, so shit. Don't tell I, my girl. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, honestly, Roku looks like our favorite type of power gapper set up. Yeah, that, it's, it's, that, I'm, it's that setup that Brian talked about in the webinar with Austin. Look at a daily chart. Just look at a daily chart on Roku. Well, bro, you gave and, us the best stock tip ever last week on Zoom short. So. Uh, here's fucking shows that VWAP on the daily. I hate that. <laughs> I know. I hate um, that about TD. Here, here. I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to do something for you right now. Do it. Watch this. Do it. It's the easiest and silliest thing, okay? But what you got for me? Use that VWAP script, and it won't show on your daily chart anymore. Get out of here. That's it's the same VWAP, but if you just use that one when you go to a daily chart on Thinkorswim, it won't show it. Anymore. dude that's so, so sick that's i'm gonna put that on later see that dude that's the thing man is like joe. <laughs> Val, i clicked it and he just stole my password yeah i just fished everyone's <laughs> passwords <laughs> bro that's the thing though like we should we should really like clarify this dude it other services what joe just posted for members people are charging for yeah dude. i saw a service charging for relative volume i was like what here, I would fucking do this shit. Watch this shit. Here you go. I got another one for you guys. Dude, we, oh, like, three. what? Do we, man, we lose so much money giving all this stuff for free at MIC. Bro, we don't charge for scanners. We post those. We don't charge for think scripts. We give you all the fucking DVDs, dude. We give you all the videos. You just got, we give you the MIC archive. You just got to get an annual lifetime membership. Yep. Bro, we give you every freaking thing that you've ever needed to be a trader. Ask Joe, and he's got a hundred think scripts at the ready. He'll put he'll put think script businesses out of business. If you want our ball, there you go. Free our ball. I'll screen that. I'll do that one too later. Sick. <clears throat> Thanks, Joe. All you got to do is just put it put it as a column on your watch list or or your scanner or whatever it is, and it'll show you the R ball for the ticker. So That's if you awesome, want to, bro. If you want to see a high relative volume, it tells you in multiples. So if it's like a one, that means it's a one to one. It means it's not above average volume. Oh it's shit! Big. I gotta cover my LTRPA. Hold on one sec. And Tosh is gone. <laughs> All right, I just gotta it's cover him. <laughs> oh shit! I just put a cover in on a limit. Let's see if I get triggered. <laughs> Oh man. What were you saying about a thing script? 
<laughs> yeah, Tosh sounds like he ran two miles. Yeah, where is your no? So, you so what I what I do, dude? What I do every single webinar <laughs> is I have my main trading station in in my living room because I love it so much and like I want to watch like on the seventy five inch TV and stuff like that. Like, dude, my living room is tailored to trading. My girlfriend fucking hates it. And then in the bedroom, oh yeah, dude, in the bedroom, I go for I do my new member webinars and stuff on a laptop, so I don't get tempted to trade. And yet I'm running back the whole time talking to you guys fucking trading. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick UAD in the head, dude. I'm sick in the head. Blasting. Squeezing? Oh, okay. Well, that's not really blasting. I that's, mean, that's, that's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's the coming blasting. back up to short you know, levels, potentially. Yeah, I get where you're going with it, but, but I mean, blasting? Mm. Blasting would probably be a new high day. Yeah, I, I, was, I was like, oh, shit, we squeezing. It's up 10 cents. Okay, easy, Tiger. Yeah. Oh, I would love for this to go up to like 2 or 2.30 tomorrow so we have more room for the downside. This would be great. This is this is crap. This is this yeah, is I forgot great. what this webinar is about. It's about Q&A, just fun educational content, <laughs> entertainment, free entertainment is he, what it here's, is. Here's, here's $200 worth of education right now for you. If yeah. you are longing and holding and swinging stocks with daily charts like this, you need MIC in your life. This is the most ugly, terrible. dude. Or if you're buying TBLT, oh, Lord Jesus. Dude, if you, but like, Joe, if you swing a daily that chart that looks like this long, Oh yeah, yeah. You're just asking for it. You're asking for it. TBLT, not that much different. Not that much different. Guys, this is why we short. This is we, there's certain parameters, there's certain indicators that give you a great edge once you have that trend break, once you have that death candle, once you have that death line snap. There are things that can grow your confidence. I'm just like, how <clears throat> if something is up 700 percent and it's TBLT, okay? TBLT is tough built industry. They make like hardware that is sold at Home Depot, and it's not even that great. But how is your first thought? It's up 700%, and you're like, long it. Like, how is that the first thought? How is it not, whoa, what the fuck is going on with this shit with the reverse split? It was at 14 cents yesterday, trading at $1.20. Like, how is your first thought not reverse split? And, and it's, and so once you do the conversion, it's actually red on the day or it's break even. It's like, <laughs> it's, you did the worst, worst method. I, I just, I, I don't know how, I don't know why people were longing TBLT. I think people just gamble uh, every fucking day. And there's no, I, I just, I don't understand it. Well, Joe, what don't. happened earlier that Bao was saying? Like, dude, it like, like orders literally got like canceled or something. Yeah, yeah. It was, they would, Bao was saying it and I've seen it happen too. Oh, I've never seen that years. happen in seven years. Bro, in listed stocks, it's rare. Oh my God, rare. But dude, in OTCs, that happened like quite a bit. So uh, technically, I had several, I had several trades that I was long uh that got canceled because it was either during a pump uh or it was of some kind of manipulation and the and the the market would come the fucking exchange would come in and cancel the orders uh or the broker would cancel the orders and they would say that it really never filled and it or they didn't want to jack with it or what oh dude it was some fucking bullshit but it was this is probably the most wild that I've seen where you are long and then all of a sudden your orders get canceled and you end up net short if you sold. Like, that's scary. Alex, don't kill me, dude. Oh, I had, man, to, I I had to during the webinar. Bro, I had to. Yeah. Alex is going to kill me. It's just so, so much advantage right now in the markets, man. God, there's so much opportunity. If you guys are a long cap trader, if you're a small cap trader, big caps, anything, man, it is so much freaking money to be made. It's like blowing my mind every day. I've never seen a market like this in seven years, dude. Joe, two things, brother, two things. Let 
I want you to talk really quick about the DVD. What exactly it is, what people are getting, when can they expect it, who can expect it when, um, just everything about it, man. We don't necessarily have to post the PDF unless you feel that's necessary, but what did you just create, man, and when's it coming out? So the series is a, it's an accelerator series, and basically it takes all of our content, all 1,000 videos of it, all 82 pages of videos, condenses everything down into seven and a half hours. And no, I don't just go grab old video lessons like other services do and then turn it into a DVD in quotations <laughs> and then resell it as regurgitated material. No, we are filming and redoing everything live all over again, completely reproduced and remastered. Re I mean, it's going through a test group and it's been in the test group for nearly a month now. We're beta and testing it literally right now. Yeah, it, we're, we're, we're not just out here to, to, uh, to pump it to make money. We're out here to actually put together a piece of content that helps members accelerate their learning curve so yes. it helps you learn all of the necessary skills in order to navigate through the video library to learn the valuable lessons in becoming a day trader learn what we talk about every single day without having to watch you know 80 videos to get the full picture you come out guns blazing you know what we're talking about. And if you hear something in the DVD that you don't understand, you'll now have the ability to go back to the video library because we're revamping the video library. Big time. And the video library is going to be tailored to this accelerator series. So anything you hear in there, you're going to be able to get to it. Dude, we're, we're, we're going to make this even better than it is right now, man. And this accelerator course, like Joe just said, dude, I mean, we've already said it, but I'll just say it one last time is this is if you know nothing, guys, even if you're an experienced trader or a veteran, this is going to take you from minute one to minute end, getting the confidence to place your first trades. If you guys have the discipline and the, um, you know, just, just able to sit down for seven hours straight or accomplish it in a day or two, dude, you're going to have a level of confidence that you've never had, especially if you're new, man. This is, this is such a game changer. I don't think anyone's ever done something like this, man, honestly. Not, <clears throat> not completely reproduced material. I've seen people take old regurgitated video lessons and old things, or they, or they say it's basics, but it's not. It's not basics. They don't go all the way back from ground zero. You could literally know nothing about day trading and you will know what you need to know after the video is done. That's so sick, dude. Thank you for, thank you for doing that, Joe. Seriously. I, I mean, members, man, you got Joe to thank for that one. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you. thank the Texan redneck. <laughs> yes. Yes. Who's got some, who's got some trading brokers. questions, man? Oh, by the way, guys, this is my contact yeah. information, which I've posted many times. So uh, just text me. I'm an intense guy, but I'm also fun and, and lively. <laughs> this, is, this is the passion I have when I see LTPRA or whatever that stock is. Who's got, some, who's got some trading questions? Who needs help with their trading? Joe, are, are you or Alex on the YouTube live? Can people post there as well? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's not many questions coming with the, the only question I have that I have not answered already um, is once sign up and you're ready to begin trading and your account is super micro, <coughs> still can't afford Venom. Do you all have any recommendations to any other brokers? Um, <coughs> mine would be Trade Zero. That's pretty much your only option. If yeah, you can't if, you, if Venom, you can't get Venom, probably. You can't afford Cobra, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, your best option is going to be probably trade zero for small caps. Yep. Uh, if you're going with luck, it, yeah, it's that's just gonna be the nature of it. So, trade zero, yeah, man. And here's the thing, you know, guys, like I just want to put something out there really quick, you know, because I was talking with a buddy hey, about this earlier. If you are a trader who comes to me and you're like, Tosh, I only have 
$1,300 to put in a trading account, $1,500, anything like two grand and under, right? And you're like, um, what should I do? I'm not part of any communities, man. I do. I like the last thing I want to do is sound like a salesman, but bro, if someone came to me who was experienced seven years ago, when I first started, when I had 2.5 K to my name, he would have slapped the shit out of me and said, don't try to trade alone. Instead of putting in a brokerage account, man, get a membership. And I'm not even talking about MIC, dude. I'm just, obviously I rep MIC and I'm not biased or anything. But the point is invest in your education than trying to go out and do this alone. Because what's, what's going to happen is you're either going to lose that $2,000 account develop bad habits, not know shit, develop all these things you're going to have to unlearn, or you can bite the bullet, invest in your education, practice on a simulator, and then, and then fucking kill it next year when you're in more of a position, but you've been studying and practicing with professionals throughout the year. So, you know, a lot of members come to me or a lot of, a lot of prospective clients come to me, man. They're like, dude, I only have a thousand in my name. I'm like, bro, you have five months of pure, unbelievable education. Don't tell me you can't afford shit. You can invest in your education. Whether that's with us or not, man, I'm just trying to help you. If you want to take that $1,000 or $2,000 to your name and go try to trade that alone, you have a 9.8% chance out of 10 to lose that money. And then There's you no develop bad habits. Right now. There's no better time right now to invest in yourself. There's no better time. And if you want to invest in stocks before investing in yourself, you're fucking retarded. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be that blatant. You it's true. are retarded. You should not, you, you, maybe not retarded, maybe more just ignorant. You're, you're being ignorant to the situation. If it's the same thing as if I were going to go try out for the NBA being, having no skills in basketball whatsoever, that would be the relevance. Not that I can't shoot a mean jump shot as we sit right now, but I'm just saying, if I were not a basketball player and I knew nothing of basketball, I would not go try out for the NBA before I went and got training. Dude, it's like, it's like Bao just said it, bro. How the hell do you expect to become consistently profitable trying to figure this shit out, dude? Look at, the, look at these yeah. guys. Joe, look at anybody who longed work, were X or works. If 13 or above, look at them two days later, dude, in this sell the news scenario. And then these are new traders who go, dude, oh, bro, I thought it was but, a great company. I thought wait. they had great news. They're getting 25 million a week for the next 24 weeks. Wait, the news was great, getting, blah, blah, blah. I thought that that purchase order was going to change the entire company. How like, the dude, hell do, yeah. I thought that was going to change everything. Why? Obviously, guys, I'm being sarcastic for those of you that right, are right. <laughs> Dude, and, and like and, and like it boils down to UAVS, bro. I I longed it here, and I and I sold ten days later for a huge loss because I didn't look at the daily chart and know that you have to look at things like this. And what does float mean? And short float percentage? And what is trend? And it's like, dude, you're gonna lose your money. <laughs> yes. Invest in your education. Know if you're buying UAVS, why you're buying it, and what it is, man, and the potential downside risk that it has, like. And this is the, and, and it's the same for shorting something like Roku. Like if you're going to buy UAVS, know the downside risk. If you are going to short Roku, know the upside risk, dude, people don't know this. They just go, Oh, everybody likes Netflix. I'll buy Netflix. You know what I mean? They get a little lucky. Then they find small caps yeah. on their own and then lose all their money. Cause they don't know that actually trading is very hard to do alone, but it's death yep. to people who don't have a process. And that's what we teach, man. That's what we teach. Yep. Bro, it, it, Joe, a nutless monkey could make money in the markets, but dude, it takes a genius to keep that money. It really does, man. It, it, it's, dude, you got to learn. Well said. Yep, well said. I, I just always love the analogy, man, of a broken clock is always right twice a day. Because, dude, how many, how many stories do you have of friends or traders or, you know, traders now that were terrible before or guys that are, were great and now they're gone? But, you know, the guys that come in with $2,000 on Robinhood, dude, they turn it into $15,000 because they struck a gold mine and then now their accounts are at $500. Yep. So countless, countless people. And the thing about making money in the markets is it's got this, like, if you don't know what you're doing, it's got this real, like, fake confidence, man, where one day, dude, you're on top of the world. You think, I got the biggest dick in the room, dude. I'm the tallest guy. I love this. I got this. And then the next day, dude, 
you're like you got you're like a midget with no dick like the point is man zero to zero yeah zero to zero man for sure so we teach you guys how to control all that stupid stuff, all those feelings that are going to give you fake confidence or honestly, you know, the times where you're really down on yourself because you're down on your luck or down on your consistency. We show you how to build back up, man, and to go back to basics and to get back in the routine. So you need daily coaching. You, if, you, if you're 400 pounds and you go to a gym, you're going to want a trainer to show you the correct form and exercises so you can get to your desired goal two, three times quicker. That's what MIC is for you. 100%. Well, and the beauty of having a 20 person plus team, man, like literally no joke, dude, how many people do we have on the moderator team with the mentors? The whole point is, <laughs> Kaylin, judging by your photo, Kaylin, I'm assuming you're pretty bummed that the gyms are closed, bro. <laughs> dude, I want to look like Kaylin when I grow up, man. I, I think he's got a, I think he's got like a little bit of room to, to, to maybe he's got a little bit to work with. Let, let's just say, Caitlin, if the, if the gyms are closed for the next the two months, bro, I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Man, Holy I just shit. been doing the prison style. I just been doing prison style, and not in the shower with the soap. I've been doing just sit ups and push ups. You know. Yeah, not in the shower with soap. Bro, sit wink. Up, push up, sit up, push up, and <laughs> pull up will go a fucking long way. Hey, someone, oh someone yeah. photoshopped Bow's face on Kaylin's body. <laughs> Where's 5'9"? Here we go. Hang on. Where's 5'9"? Put on. Bow's face on this, and this is what, this is what he's going to look like when he's in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> please edit. <laughs> someone please edit that. Dude, huge props to Kaylin, man. If you have that kind of discipline for your body, bro, guess what that means? You're going to have the discipline to learn how to be a yeah, really exactly. good trader, bro. That's huge. As well, if you have that discipline to change your physique into that, you have to apply the same discipline to trading. Well, and the That's beautiful thing all. is, dude, it, 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 like the thing about trading, bro, is it mirrors everything you do in your life or whatever you do in your life is going to mirror in your trading. So that's why I said, if you're this disciplined to do this here, bro, you could be a phenomenal trader, man. It's so correlated. It's crazy, bro. Put Joe and Kaylin side by side. Joe, do you have a... <laughs> Do you have a before and after for us? I'll be the after quarantine body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me before, and then you know I'll 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 put me after. Wait, wait. My regular self. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Here's Joe right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, this this is literally oh, what the man. quarantine is is us right now. This is Bow and Alex. <laughs> Day That's 57 of quarantine. <laughs> quarantine day 57. The ganja guru. Bro, how much fun do we have at MIC, man? And people are like, dude, what am I gonna oh, get out of funny, MIC? Buddy. I'm like, what aren't you gonna All right, get? So all right, we got some uh, we got some YouTube questions. Uh, oh, we got a UAVS tank. Let's go, baby. Oh, there it goes. But I thought it was blasting. I'm just fuck. I'm just kidding. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> what do we got, Joe? What questions we got? Could you talk about differences between CHCI, UAVS, GRIL, and Pixie? All are low float, but after they first broke God bless America. But after they first broke down below VLAP, only CH, CI, and GRIL never came back up. So what are the differences between UAVS and Pixie and CH, CI, and GRIL? So why did those two turn into all day faders and the other two hung on? Number one that I would say to that is that was a lot, but I'll just keep it simple is when you don't have a process and just pay, play the lines, you're going to wonder all day why stocks go up, why they go down. Why did this one fade? Dude, it doesn't matter. The, what matters is knowing where to get in, when to pay yourself, when to get out. I don't care if C C C H C I fades all day or UAVS doesn't all day. Who gives a shit about the reason? I don't even care if there's an agenda. I will take advantage 
of certain lines and the opportunity. So if this is under a death line or this is breaking trend or there's a death candle, that's all I want to know. Now, if you want to be a huge fundamental trader, sure, you can, you can understand a deeper meaning on like, can UABS do an offering? Can things happen like that? But dude, at the end of the day, yeah. the process will tell <clears> me <throat> the front that. side and process will tell me that this is most likely going to go lower because guess what? And I say it every week. We got the trend break, the, the break that I'm looking for to start shorting, shorting on this. I, dude, I couldn't get a borrow for this. And then boom, guess what? I'm going to pay myself along the way. And then if it, if it happens so much that I get a home run out of this by happenstance, because I keep taking um, money on the way down and I keep recycling, then that's, the, then that's the name of the game, man. Honestly, it's like, I, I don't yeah. have a future ball. Who gives a shit about having a future, you know, teller ball and see, predicting the future and seeing everything that's going to fade and do offerings line to line make your money in get out that's my that's my answer yep and if you want to know from a fundamental standpoint or you want to know a deeper dive into why then dig in the filings and look for convertibles look for warrants look for things that are gonna give the company and insiders the ability to dilute the stock and create selling pressure and that that if you want to know the why, there you go. You can go dig into, I would, I would argue that fundamentally those companies are probably slightly different than one another. Yep. Uh, your all day players probably have uh, either active purchase agreements or sales agreements, which will act as ATMs. And um, those are the ones that will generally turn into the all day phase almost always they just they just slowly get diluted and they just use the company uses as much of that offering as they possibly can yeah bro there's ten thousand reasons why these things fade all day yep. in the filings yep. when you see when you see something overextended it finally starts giving back and you see a daily chart like this chances are it will probably do that but the point is whether it does it or not Take advantage of what you know. The only thing I was paying attention to on this, I couldn't get locates. I was dying for them, but here's what I wanted. I look for the death oh, candle every single day. What's that? That's What's that, Joe? If there's no shares to short, if there's no shares to short, it's the easiest fucking short. Yeah, that's Almost always a huge factor time. right there. I couldn't get shares, but Almost here's, dude. Bro, outside of that, it did exactly what I wanted that does every day that is my process. It death candle slams through VOP. Guess what? I wanted to start scaling up the halfway mark if I had locates. And I, my risk, as Kaylin just asked, my risk would definitely not have been high day because that's way too much range. Forces, sixes. I would have gone to the top of the death candle with a hard stop right there. And guess what? I probably would have got on a decent amount of my size, maybe not full, and I would have covered on washes, recycled on pops until it didn't work. And guess what? It would have worked all day, so it would have been an accidental home run. But the process is there to make my, my guaranteed money, the quick money, and then if I get more money out of it because it goes to the fucking twos and I still have a position, that's awesome. But here's what I want to yep. harp on. Here, I really want to talk about this for a second. Look at this. I get PMs, Joe, probably – five times a week where people ask me, Hey, what's Bow and Alex's trading account? Do they think Bow and Alex are making two and $5,000 a day because they've got $10 million accounts, bro. Nope. UAVS. Nope. I only traded this tiny size 1.5 K shares times two um, during this webinar and Bow made two, uh, Bow made two grand. What does that tell you? that you need a fortune to learn how to trade or you need a fortune to be Bao? No, dude, you need a process. Bao traded at most 1,500 shares twice and made two Gs? Look at his chart. Dude. Yep. Back in, first time I ever met Bao. Oh, 4K was his match. Okay, 4K. First time I ever met Bao was in San Jose, the San Jose meetup in the very yeah. beginning of MIC. And he said there that he did for he did this for fun and for education but he opened a new or rebalanced his account new and he showed all of us from and he started with it was either 35k or 40k something like that and in like 90 days it was like 120 or 150,000 just making 2 to 4,000 dollars a day Joe, somebody, somebody, somebody texted me three days ago and he's like, bro, 
I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can join and trade with you guys. I think Alex has a $15 million account and I've only got like a, like a $10,000 account. I go, bro, are you kidding me right now? Do you know how much money you can make with 10 to 30 grand account? You can literally make $500 a day. You don't need $15 million. What the fuck? Dude, I trade, I have been trading a $15,000 cash account in options. And just letting the just letting everything settle T plus one, and I'm consistently making anywhere between five hundred to seven hundred to a thousand dollars a day. Exactly, bro. Exactly. I Averaging, don't, dude. The I average don't... sits about seven hundred bucks a day, no. and I'm using a fifteen k account trading options. You, you don't, don't need a big part, account, uh, dude. Alex Bow and myself. Guess what, guys? We barely keep. I don't even think we keep between the three of us over 50 K in our accounts, obviously each one, but dude, you can make consistent money for the rest of your life with a 30 to 50 K account. You dude, look what Alex turned his, what Alex, what'd you start with? Like, was it, I think it was 35 like with like 30, Alex started with 35. Like, yeah. 35. Dude, how insane. Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? We literally just talked about this yesterday. <laughs> me and Alex dude. did. So <laughs> yeah, it's 35. He started with 35 and then, in 30 days, yeah, $100,000 account. Dude, the selling point for you guys is this, man. It's do you have a process. process? When you have a process and something that works every day, it's not about size, man. It's not about bullying stocks. It's not about, oh, I'm going to throw 100,000 shares at here or get a death candle and bully this stock. No, dude, it's about in and out, nail and bail, getting a process for day twos, low hangers, first resistance, first bounce, things like this, first red day, and you can maximize here is this other account I use for this. So this is Bao's other account today. Like, dude, 3,200 bucks, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, on a $39,000 account. All he, does, all he keeps in there is 39K. And that's probably just because he hasn't rebalanced it yet and hasn't wired anything out. Look at the difference. And this is, dude, none of this is to brag or anything. This is to show you guys that you don't need a fortune to make money every day. So if you bring it down and be like, okay, I don't have what Bao started with today, thirty-six or $37,000 in this account. I only have 15. Well, look at what he did with the, half of it. You know, you have half of that. You know what I mean? Hey, Bao, did you use your Windows screenshot shortcut to get that screenshot? Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that dollar sixteen that you lost. Yeah, on now, what's 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 happening here, bro? What's what's? I thought you were better than this. What is this? Yeah, what's going on? With what's that? going on? <laughs> <laughs> he he overcovered, and that's what happened. He overcovered. I mean, like, I'll bet you. Yeah, exactly. He probably. Yeah, you're probably right. He I probably knew it, dude. He overcovered his short. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> I know about too well, man. I no, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you on the exit on the long, he still had to add liquidity to get the ECN rebate. Probably. Probably. Guarantee you. (laughs) Guarantee you he did not hit the ask. Or the bid. I (laughs) guarantee you he didn't hit the bid with his sales. He was like, damn it, I've got to exit. So I didn't realize how well we know Bow. We just (laughs) broke apart this whole thing. So just to be (laughs) just to put it in perspective, guys, that dollar sixteen is probably a net positive based on his ECN rebates. Honestly. So just he probably actually made money on that. So so this is actually a green number. These are all green. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny, man. All right, who's got some questions? Who's got All right, questions? so Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's do the you whole ever, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever create Oh shit. Let me click this button again. I accidentally paused the YouTube live just to make sure that's still going. Oh, good. Oh my god, I'm fucking it all up. Okay. I don't know how to do that. I think I'm right. All right, so Uh, Do you ever create a watch list for afternoon trading? And if so, does that process differ from a typical morning plan? Well, dude, I ask because I trade the afternoon more often than the morning. Bro, you wouldn't need an afternoon watch list. We're giving live commentary on everything that's running all day. Look, Bao is still right now posting about UABS, what's running. Sometimes we post scans like we're talking Pixie. We're talking about UABS works like you don't need a, a midday watch list. You just need to follow chat. Yeah. 
Ben, I'm going to try to make a habit of actually like posting these questions in the channel so oh, people good can idea, actually yeah, yeah. see good the idea. question later instead of like if they can't understand me or something like that. So I'm going to try to make a habit of posting the question. So um, yeah, I think that's a great idea and, and it should probably differ from your morning watch list. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the and this is just me, this is just me. When I come back to the screens, um, I tend to start to try to find trades that are not there. And in the afternoon, you need to adjust your bias a lot because in the afternoon, you're probably going to be more short bias. You don't need to be buying in the afternoon. You need to be buying in the morning when there's a lot of volatility. Uh, in the afternoon, that's when things continue. That's when things start to fade. So if you're having trouble with consistency, you probably need to consider that the plan you have is is not that great going into the battle because of the time of day. We talk about this in MIC. We talk about why later in the day is more valuable to the short side than the long side, and then we probably have 40 or 50 videos on that. But um, just be careful trading the long side in the afternoon. Be I careful buying the dip. Yeah, I see support here. Let me get long. And then all of a sudden, why does everything always go further? <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. <laughs> look at, this. <laughs> look at the great. majestic look away. Like, he's just like, <laughs> what camera? He's I don't know what the camera He's over liking here. what he sees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When Val's in the matrix from now on, this is what's going to be posted. <laughs> this is the new post right there. That is too good. <laughs> Thank awesome. you, whoever did that. NA95. Yeah, NA95. That, that was that's funny, savage, dude. dude. That is savage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kaylin. Like, yeah, later in the day, you would be generally only shorting backside. Yes, I would be looking for death line plays later in the afternoon. My favorite favorite death line setup is an afternoon death line because I know with 100% certainty, almost, I would say 99.9% .9 certainty that there's not going to be some fucking zombie move that comes out of nowhere and rapes me. It's <coughs> Bow's new Trinder photo. Wow. <laughs> Trinder. Tinder oh, for that's traders. fucking funny. It's just a bunch of dudes, three girls getting all the DMs. Oh, hundred percent. My favorite, bro. My favorite is the new furus out there that are women, and they're teaching stock trading. And they're just shaking their ass and making money. Yeah. All these horny dudes Would are signing up not to learn, stocks, not to even get alert. Just they look just at these. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Fucking funny. I think all of it's comical, man. The dudes, all they talk about is Lambos, and oh boy, what's this? What is trading via simulator looking at him drunk person, at the bar, looking at him sober at 10 a.m. <laughs> we that need to so ride true. home. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fucking Momoa. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, when she's uh, drunk at the great. bar, you're Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> but when she sees you in the morning waking up at 3 a.m. to get your locates, this is what you look like. <laughs> Bro, that's me coming to the screen every morning, just rolling out of bed like. Bro, the other day, I, like, I swear to God, I like, like Alex texted me or something. I can't, I don't even remember if it was midday or in the morning, dude. I oh, I think it was Saturday. And like, we were gunning up for the, um, the Q and A and I, I had woken up super early, right? Cause like sometimes my body doesn't let me sleep in just cause we're so designed to be traders. I swear I woke up like blind and deaf for five minutes. I couldn't even hit up. I was like, dude, welcome to being a trader, man. Oh, yeah. You're just like, ah, talk about what are we going to do today? Is, yeah, I know exactly what you, I know the feeling. I know exactly what you're talking about. Have to, Kaylin. Yeah, that wake up as early as you can, as early as your bro. broker allows, man, and get those locates, brother. Yep, every single morning. That was me trading small caps. I was like, as soon as I was, when I was talking to Brian, and he was like, he was like, you don't even need to get locates. And I was like, hang on. You mean to tell me I don't need to wake up at 4 a.m. anymore? Oh I'm my sold. God. Done. 
See, Joe was good at small caps. Anymore. He just stopped trading them because he was lazy. <laughs> Bro, for real. I was like, hang on. Hang on a second. You mean I could sleep in? And boom. <laughs> well, dude, you, you really do have told. an excuse. I mean, you've got Rich. two children, Joe. You have an excuse. Oh, and that, it, 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 bro, I'm like, I haven't, I don't know what sleeping in is. I haven't slept in in five years. I don't know what it is. Ever since my son was born, every time the sun rises, he does as well. He's just like, huh? Oh, it's, God. Bro, it, we had a rule. We had a rule when they were really, really little. And they first started getting out of their beds in the morning and, and not staying there. And, you know, we switched out of the crib and he finally could get out of his own bed. We had a rule. And the rule was, if the sun's not up, you're not up. <laughs> if you wake up before the sun comes up, you lay in your bed and you stay here. I like and that. He did. I'm with that. And he did. And that was the thing is we were like, that's a new game. You can wait for the sun to rise. And, bro, he fucking would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I can barely, I can barely handle my the five up. pound dog, let alone two kids, man. Oh, I dude. take my hat off to you, bro. As soon as the sun was up, as soon as the sun came up, he would be in your face, in your face. Dad, the sun's up. <laughs> oh God. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a good oh. idea. That's a good idea. You know I made what? Money, guys, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We did this last week. We're, we're feeling pretty generous during this quarantine, man. We are trying to help people out as much as possible. Dude, Bao's in a good mood today. We're going to, we're going to, Bao, what, what do you want to create a special link for the webinar guys, just so they know how to do it? We have no public sales right now, but we are going to do something for people attending this webinar. What do you think, Bao? You got an idea? Or if members want to upgrade. <laughs> that's so funny joe <laughs> this, uh, that's what's a so good code true, guys Te uh, so text te all right i'll tell you what anybody who has seen this text uavs because that's what bow made his last bit of money on text uavs to this number two one three <laughs> four five eight Type five nine nine seven no and i'll tell you student. what i'm gonna talk with bow after this i'll talk with alex we'll see what we can do but we'll we'll open up a, a small discount small promotion we'll we'll figure something out for the guys wanting to join that are watching this exclusively this is not available to the public <laughs> for anybody who missed when you wake up and see your child's oh my god dude i can't have kids yet <laughs> it's so true bro isn't i can't yeah when you wake up at four, when they hit mom, mom, mom. Guys, text Why? me right here, uh, UAVS, if you're interested in joining, and, uh, and we'll do something to take care of you. I'll, I'll talk with Alex about it. We'll see what we can figure out for the guys right now. There's no uh, here's better another time question. to invest in your education, man. There is no better time. Stop watching Netflix, man. Stop <laughs> blasting. Here you go. Next YouTube question. When you add to a winner... Do you usually wait to add on pops or do you add on weakness considering you also lower your risk? I'm assuming obviously on the short side, since that'd be, that's how that question reads. That's a short question for sure. Uh, so so you can, what you was can it? Answer. When you add to a winner, do you usually wait to add on? Um, uh, there's, there's only one identifier for me, brother, on this, whoever's asking this, there's one identifier. I am only is adding to a winner. <laughs> Wait, what's that, Joe? It is a female. <laughs> it is a female. Okay. I am only no, brother, adding to a winner no. if, it's, if it is like this. CHCI, if the death candle is in place, it is under VWAP, and I know that there's a very small chance that it will go back over my wrist line, I will add to a winner because these are usually the start of a really big down move. <clears throat> these are the only ones I add to winners, man. Only ones, bro. This is the only one. So that's, yeah, that's my personal if you're, example. If you're whenever a skilled... You if you're a skilled trader, you can use, you can, you know, like, I mean, Alex will do it. He'll take the bids. You know what I mean? Like if he sees it on the tape and he sees that it's about to give up, he'll whack the bids himself. But for a less advanced trader or a smaller size trader where your trading size is not going to take the bid out, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's best to me is, you're shorting, you're going to want to short a pop after a sign of weakness. 
So it's always the after effect. So it's like, well, it's, it's what, it's like what we teach on death line. And, and when you guys take a look at all the death line videos and everything that goes along with it, you'll see exactly how we attack a death line setup. We're not shorting weakness. Okay. We're shorting strength after a sign of weakness and how we do that is in all the video lessons. Dude. Yes, 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 yes. I cannot say enough. If we look, we've, we've covered everything that there has ever been talked about in 200 years of trading, whatever it is in our video library. I promise you. So if you guys need help, obviously you can reach out to us through PMs. You can get on calls every, every day, every day we're available. But if there is something you guys need to figure out, believe me when I say it is in the video library, literally Colton just said it. everything is in the videos and dude, Colton's been with us a while. And guess what, dude, he's, get, he's getting good, man. He's really understanding because I see his progress. I see him grow. I see all our members grow and dude, take, take it from <clears> Colton, man. He's literally like, he just said it, bro. Everything is in the videos. Go to the video library really quick, and I'll show you what we're working on. I'm just going to make sure everybody let's, uh, sees yeah, this. Let's get, that, let's get that open again. Um, sorry, I'm trying to avoid the bar that you guys can't see, so I can pull this up. Let's go to the videos tab. What are we looking at, Joe? So in search bar? here, let's do what? Are you talking about the search bar? Uh, yeah, but uh, one thing I want to uh, mention, let's just type in, um, hang on, click this. Let me give you the link because we're going to be taking it to a different location. Oh, by the way, guys, Val just mentioned, Joe, really quick, I just want to say before go I ahead, take go ahead, log go off ahead. or something, but guys, every single day at the end of the day, we have an end of day watch list. So if that makes sense. So anything that ran today, right? Like anything that ran today. So APDN, CHCI, dude, these are on watch tomorrow for outer levels for low hangers. This is called a two, day two continuation play. So anything that was in play day one is extremely um, a possibility for tomorrow on the short side. So you guys are going to learn this, man. We have two watch lists a day. One in the morning from Alex and one end of day by Bao. We post the tickers for the members, just so people know. I just wanted to incorporate that real quick. <clears throat> so, take her away, Joe. What we are working on is a new tag feature that is not just um, in the uh, in the search bar itself okay um, and I don't know why I'm not finding this freaking page all of a sudden hang on God help me un momento por favor Oh, there it is. Go to that link. Uh, where are you doing? Okay, one sec. What you got, brother? What you got for us? What you got? What you got? What kind of so Christmas now, present you got? Oh, nice. So now take a look at all the tags. All of those tags are going to be uh, specific to every single video and they're all tailored all the way down to if you want to watch videos about greed click greed right there next to the fundamental analysis oh uh, am i going crazy where am i at where am i oh god there it is and now scroll down fuck i was getting stressed out for a second oh shit look at that dude are you and kidding those are me all the videos that have to do with greed Bro, there's, that's unbelievable. there's two pages already but now, um, now we're Dude, going even sick. further. <clears throat> we're, me and a team of guys are rewatching every single video ourselves, rewatching. And if you want to see where Alex talks about the 3070 rule, and you click 3070 rule up at the top. If you want to see how James talks about 3070 rule, you click it up top. And it's going to show you every single. Yeah, and I used the snippet. <laughs> Look at Bounce. Look at Bounce post. He did the window shift S. Teach yeah. this old dog some new snippet tricks. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> but anyway, so if you want to watch first red day setups, there's first red day. If you want to, if you want to look at stuff that has to do with emotional trading, Dude, this everything, is so click sick. emotions right there. This and is insane. It, um, yeah, so if you want to watch stuff that has to do with fundamental analysis, there's all the fundamental analysis. There's every video that has that talks about emotions in your trading. If you want to discover, you know, data tracking, you click data tracking and everything we talked about with data tracking is going to be there. If you just want to watch Bows recaps, all you do is you're going to click Bows recaps. And so, yeah, it's all there. It's all there and it's all navigable. I love it. I love it. If, if you guys aren't impressed with that, I don't know how we're going to impress you. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So Thank you so much for doing that, man. Have you got trading while drinking? You know what? Uh, Noted. Uh, and that is now probably going to be a new series. <laughs> Noted. Did, now, can you get on that? Can you create uh, our first video? Trading with driving with bow. We could, we could, uh, we could do drinking with bow, but drinking with bow. That's always fun. You will probably die. <laughs> the first year at MIT was drunken bow. <laughs> LTRB, PB halted again. What a turd. Dude, are you kidding? So I'm not in we also anymore, talk but... about a phrase. We also talk about a phrase, head of the snake. Okay. And this is something Alex and Bao coined uh, on Twitter back in the day. Oh, there you go. Halt it up, I guess. Yep. Oh, and now boring. the city's probably going to follow. Boring. Good God. Wow. Ridiculous. But yeah, if you go back to that uh, page. Uh, yeah, yeah. One sec. There you go. So now, if you click uh, Head of the Snake on that page. Oh, yeah. Where are we at? All right. Head of the Snake. Boom. If you hear us talking about the phrase Head of the Snake, what are we talking about? Boom. You're going to be able to watch them through here. Obviously, we're still building the videos into this. So as you continue to look at these, the library is going to get larger and larger and larger and larger. Uh, we just started this this week getting more detailed with the categories and the tags but it's going to get even more advanced and basically it's going to become like a big video library search engine so that's so cool joe UAVS, you that, no this special discount's over <laughs> <laughs> wait let me see you're kidding yeah, that's oh, now that's the candle oh, I'm talking about. The no. only problem is it's never a good time to open up short the last 30 minutes of the day. Dude, if if this candle closes Probably down here and was like midday, I'd be all over this shit. It's yeah. just too late in the day. Yep. <laughs> We're closing the discount because Bell didn't make money on that drop. <laughs> yeah. Know. Oh, he missed the tank. Yeah, so one last time, guys, before we wrap this up, um, feel free to text me. Um, only the people who saw this webinar and text me UAVS, you will get a secret discount for only today. I'm not kidding. This is, will only be available today. I'll talk with Bao and see how it is. But text UAVS to 213-458-5999. Uh, or email me. <laughs> or Palm Pilot me. Palm pilot. <laughs> Bow, you've made enough money, <laughs> you greedy like, bastard. Bow, I'm going to show you a new feature shit. at MIC. You're going to go right here and you're going to click greed. Yeah, go click greed. Where's greed Bow? again? <laughs> <laughs> Bow, go Watch find greed and, and start watching your own videos. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. We have so much fucking You want to talk here. about videos that discuss FOMO. Just go click the word FOMO. Yes, exactly, guys. So the two major ones you're going to want to pay attention to in here, honestly, is truly greed and probably FOMO. These are the ones you guys are going to want to watch some videos on, which I'm sure we have a million. Yeah, shocker. We have yeah. already two pages. Shocker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's more to come there. More to come, and We've baby. only made it through about um, 80 videos so far of the endless amount. And Austin's still got to go through all of his psychology webinars and 
and categorize those. So there, those. So there's there is a lot of content to go through. So the library is going to get um, massive, massive. Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> so Jason you know, this is super asked, fun guys. We do this every single Wednesday. Um, let's see if Bao makes money next week. Maybe he'll do some, but uh, I don't know guys. This is a limited time just because we're really just trying to help out during the quarantine. So Thank you guys so much for coming, man. Uh, if he loses money next week, we're actually doing a promotion where we raise the rates. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, Last that, that was the quickest, funniest guy I've ever met in my list. life. Dude, if you, he could bring up like 10,000 analogies the second you say something. It's the funniest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> I know, man. It's fucking God, right, dude. Last He's so tapped YouTube in. YouTube and we'll end it with that. Why would I sign up with MIC over any other service? And I'm going to summarize that simply in one very simple sentence, very simple sentence, one on one coaching and help. The actual personal contact that you get from everyone here in MIC, not just the members, but the moderators and the mentors and the people teaching you and the people you are looking to get education from you have the ability, and we are always around answering your questions, giving you our utmost undivided attention at any given time. Every other service does it at their convenience, and maybe not at all. And I want they you may to ask just yourself direct you to the video library, or they may just direct you to their DVDs. They don't help you whatsoever. Here, here's another thing doing. that I just want to end with because that's that's kind of Joe's last word. Here's my last word. Guys, if you think another service, one of the mentors, myself, will get on the phone with you personally and figure out your trading future and what's best for your needs, you have endless PMs or, or however much you want to talk to the moderators, you can get on the phone with them. If you can find that somewhere else, let me know because I fucking doubt it. I doubt it. Dude, we are yep. so hands-on with MIC, you will not find anywhere else. I can guarantee that almost entirely. The fact that we yeah, are go, literally go taking ask our time- those those other rooms and i'm not going to name names but just go in there and ask if you can get on a phone call with them just go go or ask. or or and then come what into MIC is, and ask, and ask them what the rotation is and if they give you a one word answer you're in the wrong place yep <laughs> and uh -oh. now pixie tanks uh oh now bow's raising rates today because pixie tanks <laughs> <laughs> oh shit you guys better act now i think lifetime just became eight g's <laughs> oh my Ooh. god Oh, that's nasty. Oh, dude, Ooh, that's, that's nasty. tough. Ooh, that's tough. All right, guys. Well, before before Bow throws his computer because he missed on both of those, I'm going <laughs> to – awesome. Thank you, Tom. Thanks so much, guys, for showing up. Joe Kelly, thank you for everything you do, man. You are a wizard at compartmentalizing data. And, dude, let's do it next week, brother. I'm a wizard at compartmentalizing my emotions, too. Ah, oh, dude, okay. I see that every week. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm a trader. I compartmentalize everything. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I'm a, I'll see you tonight at rehab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he raises rates. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. All right, bro. All right guys. Catch you later, man. Till next week. See you, Joe. Later.